Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Last episode was a little slow, a lot of exposition. Fortunately, sometimes you do have to get that out of the way. I don't even know if we killed anybody last episode. There's something just wrong about when we're not killing folks. Excuse me, sir. 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 Why are you looking at the wall? Serve me, bitch! If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. You look odd. Uh, what are you going to stock, butthead? Or what services you offer? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. Are you serious? Who's the king? If you haven't heard of the king, he must have been living under a rock or something. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. Fine. Okay, ask away. Uh, tell me about this shithole. What do you want to know? Who's the king? If you haven't heard of the king... Shut up. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. Who are the Van Graffs? They're the local energy weapon dealers in Freeside. When it comes to lasers and plasma, they're the only game in town. And they keep it that way. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother, Jean-Baptiste Cutting, puts them all to shame. Uh, what's up with the Atomic Wrangler? Their joint is the only place in Freeside to get it all under one roof. They've got gambling, booze, chems, and whores. They're good folks, just don't cross them. They're known for tidying up loose ends with a bullet to the brain box. Oh, the, everything before the bullet to the brain box sounded good. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, what do you got in stock? Take a gander. You have... It's a container of chlorine. What am I going to need? <laughs> do I need that for my post-apocalyptic pool? Uh... Oh, man. You suck. Come back anytime. I'm going to kill you and steal all your stuff. I thought I saw Wiener back here. Um, there's somebody else in your store. I just saw somebody. <clears throat> you. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Uh... Do you have anything special for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Sure. No Vegas band items here, buddy. Just high quality standard stock. Oh, you fucking asshole. Uh, what do you got for sale? Have a look. Wait, where are my caps? Oh no, I spent all my caps buying that stupid ass... Fuck. Come back and see us soon. I didn't buy a stupid ass fuck. That's not what I spent it on. I'm gonna go into your room here. How you feel about that? I'm gonna poop it up real good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he was staring. Yep, I pooped Hello. the fuck out of that. Not really. I would have shat my trousers then. Well, this was a waste of a trip, so I gotta go talk to the king so that the one guy can do things for me. That sounds wrong. Who are you? Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. We selling. Have a look, baby. Mm, whiskey. I'll buy the whiskey. Oh, not that many. I'm not a fucking alcoholic. Well, maybe I am, but whatever. I'll still buy it. Pleasure doing business. Yeah, Till thanks. next time. I want to bathe sometime. Just saying. Hey, what's up with you? <laughs> you had enough? What the fuck? What are you doing, thug? That's rude. What the hell? You just started stabbing me. How you feel about that? You won't be doing that again. Take your switchblade. I don't want your dumbass outfit. <laughs> that's, that's all you have to say is <laughs> That's all you had to say I might have saved your life I'm not sure if I saved your life or my own But whatever
What do you want? That guy's waving at me. This is a bad idea. This cannot be a good idea. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Who are you? Yeah, come. Oh, yep, see? They, they're trying to lure me into the corner there. I'm in CR! Surrender. I'm not really in CR, but whatever. Look at his face. He's like, ah! Open that mouth a little wider for more bullets. Oops, shot your head off. Oh. Hey, guy. No, no. Dude, quit. Man, that guy's ugly. I was even uglier. They were trying to lure me back there to fuck me up. What a bunch of assholes. Steal their tired, nasty clothes. They were just like super obvious. He's like, come over here! <laughs> Alright. Luckily the... Um, luckily the uh, ghoul who was out front at Freeside warned me that this place was a shithole. He was right. You all those headless wieners. Ooh, mailbox. Oh, how do I... Ah, shit, I think I'm lost. Really? Okay, this is the way we go. What is that thing? Oh, it's a giant rat! Oh, gross! Kid, don't play with that thing! Oh, that's nasty. Who's the kid? Night. Whatever. Kid's gonna get giant rabies or some shit. That can't be good. What's this place here? Old Las Vegas Mormon State Historic Park. This isn't where the king is. It's interesting, there's a fort in the city. <clears throat> kind of like a fort in a fort, because the free side seems to be walled off, too. I should probably put my weapon away. Excuse me, um... Hey. Shut up. I want to talk to the woman. Hey, baby. Stay alert. Yeah, stay alert for my dick. Here it comes! Yeah, that was hot. <laughs> um, hello. Howdy. Hi, who are you? I've been around a while. Good. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Is that putting, like, gerbils up your buttocks? Uh, what are you doing with the followers? These are the followers of the apocalypse. We're in, like, their camp. I joined up looking for a decent-paying job. Granted, the pay's all right. But they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Well, aren't you positive? I think we're gonna drink right now. I bet you've seen a lot of the over the years, Hag. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. <laughs> you sound like someone I used to date. You sounds like you're a bit of a Dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Me. What do you have in mind? Um... You got advice to share? Good. Bad. The guy with the gun makes the <laughs> rules. <laughs> Good. Bad. I'm the one with the gun. Uh... The other advice? Time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. I like that one. How about more advice? Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. True. Feed a man a bullet. You won't hear from him again. Mm-hmm. 
The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. Then should you be giving advice? And I may have answers. Uh, what about the kings? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. Ew. Alright, um, what do you think of the NCR? I think they're jerks. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Yeah, they're assholes. What's about this Mr. House guy we heard about? Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. Wow. <laughs> he must be really old then. Uh, what do you know about the Van Graffs? Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one. But she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. Um, tell me about this shithole Freeside. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. Don't have to live like a refugee. What do you think about the followers of the apocalypse that you work for, Beatrix? This is a lot of talking. Sorry. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Warms your fart, indeed. What did you want to know? Why don't you shut up? Alright, I gotta go. Thanks for the information, actually. Bye. 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 Hey, what's up? We got Ferris. Somebody's got to save Ferris. <laughs> no. What's up, Wayne? Garth was looking for you. What's up, Roy? I got nothing for you. What was Roy Rogers' horse name? Horsey McGee? I don't even know why I'm here. I just kind of got lost. I guess I just wandered into here. Why is that guy staring at the tent? Is that... When people have got nothing left, they can all... Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Okay, Arcade. What kind of research do you do? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs out of barrel cacti and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. It's not a waste of time if you enjoy doing it. That's what the ghoul taught me. What's the goal, bitch? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. You don't sound enthusiastic about it. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Um... Yeah, ain't that the language that Caesar's Legion speaks? You one of them. Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Cats? Many people have spoken Latin. No. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. He speaks a cat language? Novus Ordo Seclarum Miawis? Where'd you learn that? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. So you watched, like, Spartacus? How much do you know about this Caesar? Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. 
Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. He sounds cool. Um, let's talk about something else. Certainly. Uh, why do you do research instead of actually helping people? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Can I stick in Julie? Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. I didn't even catch it. That's so lame. Why don't you come with me, nerd? I might need a spare nerd to throw in front of a bullet. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? What if I rip off your balls otherwise and feed them to your face and everyone will call you a ball lover? Um, my speech skill's not good enough. I'm going after a man named Benny for revenge. I need someone to keep me patched up. Pulling bullets out of a vengeance-crazed drifter is truly a noble step up from tending to the downtrodden of Freeside. But I think I'll pass. You're a wiener. I would murder you. What are you looking at? Hello. Let's mumble. Let, let's ruin my mumble. Hi, gambler. Hi, gambler. Hi, sexy guard. What made her get up? What's up, baby? Keep an eye out for trouble. Your face scares me. Never mind. Let me go! Get me out of here! This has got creepy and weird. Hey. Wish the followers would get me some better armor. God, what? That's good enough armor. Sorry, I gotta check out your... Oops, that was awkward. You got goggles good enough. Just make sure they shoot you in the face with acid or something. Well, really just protect your eyes. Well, Beatrice is the most interesting one here. I don't know where the fuck she went. I don't know how positive... I don't know how good that whole thing was. We learned more, though. We learned a little bit about Caesar leading the legions. that was trying to destroy the area. The NCR exploiting the region. Mr. House from Vegas, who had killer robots that drove everyone off the strip here. Try not to go in circles. No promises. What are these? Hello. Hi. Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. That's what I tell ladies when I take out my... Sure, well, uh, serve me up something. You won't regret it, at least until an hour or so from now. That's not a very good sales pitch. My food's so good, you'll like it until you're diarrheaing out of your diarrhea. <laughs> not some old rat stool. Stew, not stool. Ew, it becomes stool. Whatever. Hey, who are you guys? Gang member, Oris. Hi, gambler. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. Who, him? This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm a f You want to travel to Freeside with ease? You hire a king. We're everywhere. And no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Uh, why would I need a bodyguard? Freeside's a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. You go without a guard, you're rolling the dice. You know? You must be new. Your tune will change. Trust me. Who's this dork? This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. Whatever. Well, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> I hope not. That's going to be really embarrassing if I'm outside of Vegas. I want to go into the strip. I'm trying to find that idiot Benny. So I think I have to find King first. Yeah, I didn't want to be here. Damn it. Who are these wieners? Oh, these must be members of the kings. Great. So another Elvis one coming from the Another one come in from the waist. Well, they're pretty mild, I guess. They didn't really do anything to fuck with me. Now you want to talk to me, Oris? This gentleman, this gentleman and I were just settling on a price. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's one worth of the it. others. This. You want to travel through free stuff? You I didn't need a body. I don't have that kind of money. Then I guess you're on your own. I'd shoot you, but it's probably a bad idea if, since you have a bunch of gang members here. Well, I guess next time, I'll try and find out how to find the king. That's where I want to be over there. I wish I could just climb the damn wall. 
Oh wait, I bet you I just go straight. Probably didn't need to come this way. How's it all going down? Oh, there's a thug. Another thug. You guys leave that kid's rat alone. Leave his rat alone, you fuckheads. Oh shit, they're coming after me. Just The kid just wanted to play his... Nice tire iron. Suck bullets. Haha. -ha. Didn't work as well as I hoped. No, I don't like you. Oh, there goes your body, whore. Oh, that other guy tried to hit me. No, sorry, Gramps. Where's my shotgun? Yeah, this is how we do it. No! Oh! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, we get the point. Ooh, I had a sheriff's hat? I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. I'm not wearing my cool hat. I had to protect that kid's dumbass, creepy ass rat. I hope they didn't kill the kid. All right, there's the kid. Hey, kid! 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 Are you okay? Yeah, you okay, kid? We're gonna have rat tonight. Oh, you're trying to kill the rat? Oh. That was your pet. Boy, this place is depressing. <laughs> I'm like, look, he's got a pet. Oh, fuck it. Why don't I just help him? There you go, kid. You get the rat. Thanks, mister. Thanks, mister. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. You're gonna eat well tonight. I did something nice. Makes me feel good. And I found the right way to go. After getting confused. Which, actually, I get confused a lot. And if you're watching these LPs, no, that's very true. Ooh, there's the King's Hideout. I guess I'll save that for next time. We'll go into the King's Hideout and find out what he can do for us so we can finally get up into the strip and find that asshole Benny who shot us. Take it easy, everybody.